All right, we're back at the Scandinavian Christmas and we're just now unloading a bunch of equipment. Um, should be a good time. Uh, we're here a little bit early. It's probably gonna take a little bit longer to set up this time. So uh, we are working on it. Okay, I think we're done up here at the moment. Uh, we've got the board. Uh, we've got it all uh, snaked up, if you will. Um, taping down the uh, power and the snake. And uh, we've got our uh, PDU and the uh, drive rack uh, set up over here. So I think we're gonna go to the stage and uh, start setting up uh, some front house speakers and monitors. Okay, we've got the uh, front house speakers set up. They're just a 12 inch and a horn, uh, which is more than adequate uh, actually for this room. And it's, not a, it's not a loud show, but um, uh, we're more interested in coverage, uh, the wide, wide angle coverage here than we are in depth. So we've got the speakers set up. They're sort of splayed apart uh, for the coverage, but um, you notice they're not too high. We don't want the speakers uh, too high because they will uh, the, the horns will be too far above people's heads They won't be able to hear the clarity too much. So uh, That's why like even in the past videos you've seen the um, you've seen these um, Speakers sort of everything sort of sitting low. It's just so that it covers the uh, area Okay, there's the uh, snake head and uh, the power so we're gonna be um, actually this is where the amplifiers are gonna be and uh, obviously where all the inputs are going to be from all the microphones and the uh, instruments they're going to have. As you notice here, everything is staying out of the way. Uh, sometimes we keep the snake head on the stage, but for this event, uh, the snake head needs to be on the floor and out of the way of the, um, of the guests as well. Okay, what we're doing here, we're just uh, connecting in the returns. Basically, returns coming from front of house, and we're connecting them into the uh, back of the amplifiers. So we've got a front of house right here. It's already done, and we're going to connect into the monitors, which we're using monitors, we're using returns two and three. There's only be two monitor sends for the stage. It's a very tight corner back here because um, we really don't have a very limited amount of space. Okay. It's monitor two. Pardon me, monitor one is in um, return number two. So now we're hooking into uh, monitor number two, which is using return number three. Get that stuff out of the way. OK, 
Okay, now I, um, another thing we're hooking up here is the uh, communications between uh, the stage and the front of house so we can talk to each other. There we go, we got power. Okay, so we've got um, everything powered up here. Uh, the very top unit is a PDU and voltage regulator, and it is uh, providing power to the DBX260. See right there, and also uh, the uh, we have a uh, UPS sitting right here, and it's getting its power from the uh, voltage regulator as well. Anyway, everything is powered up, and. Um, We've got the Personas board powered up. We still have some uh, dressing up to do with the table and stuff. Um, it's, a, it's a long task, so we're, we're getting there. Okay, so the only amp that we really need for today is going to be this top one. Uh, certainly one of the benefits of having a four channel amp. Okay, so uh, let's see here. I don't know if you can see this or not. And not that we're going to be showing the amp a lot during the events. You know, I don't think it's going to focus too well. Uh, but this one right here. This is a front house left. Uh, this is front house right. We got monitor left, monitor right. And that's about it. So um, hopefully everything will go okay. Uh, I've got this bottom amp here set up the same way as the top amp. In case something happens, we can just switch it over. Two. Two. Check. One. Two. 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 Check. One. Two. One, two, 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 check. One, two, two, one, two, two, check. Quick line check. Uh, looks like everything's okay. Uh, sort of did a little bit of EQ changes here on the front of house. Uh, brought down was about um, 800 hertz around there. Got that down about 9 dB. It's really boomy in here. So hopefully uh, that uh, will make a difference. But of course we won't know till tomorrow. Uh, when we get here in the morning, they're going to have a, a choir and small band. Uh, they're going to be rehearsing on the stage. We're going to be doing a sound check at the same time. But today is just a uh, setup day. So anyway, uh, everything looks like it's going to be okay. Uh, we just need to dress up the area. Uh, get the speakers sort of uh, positioned a little bit better. Um, we're still working on the stage up there. Uh, especially with the uh, monitors. Uh, we usually have the monitors on the front tables, but the, uh, for right now they're still uh, using the front tables as storage areas. So can't do anything with that. 
But uh, anyway, for uh, everything else that's here, uh, for the board, everything looks like it's fine. Uh, for our um, uh, crossover and stuff, everything is doing good. Uh, and we are actually using the crossover on it. Uh, we um, are, I think we're, we're doing a high pass around, I want to say, 60, 65 hertz. Uh, which is also needed in here because there's really hardly any bass goes on in here. But anyway, we're using the uh, Drive Rack 260 to help control some of that. So anyway, um, I think uh, we're going to be dressing things up here and um, we'll be back. Okay, we're going to test the, um, the CD just to make sure it works. Uh, they're going to have some backing tracks um, for some of, part of the events. So I've got the CD in here and it's playing. I've got something on the monitors here. Uh, pardon me, on the, um, the display. Right, dang it, just like there. There we go. Let's see if that's any better. Maybe you can see some of the stuff. There we go. Whoop. Okay, bring up front of house a little bit. So we're going to try the monitors. That works. And then uh, set up in the uh, right side here. Right. Okay. We got in front of house when we got through monitors. So um, CD looks good. Okay, what we're going to be doing, we're going to borrow a, a channel here for a talk back. So we're taking uh, number 14 out. And, and the, the, input, the input count, I believe, for this event is maybe 8. Could be potentially 10. So we've got some spare channels here. Okay, we're going to take 14, make that a talk back. Check, 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 check. One, two. Okay, on 14, test one, two, test one, two. So it doesn't have to be too much, it's just so we can talk back into the monitors um, if we need to. Check one, two, check, check one, two, check one, two. We don't need any of that really. Check, 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 check. move it off. Okay. We're going to send to the monitors here. This is the, um, what you're looking at here is on the left side here, um, the front house left. Check, one, two, two, one, two, two, two. Check, one, two, test. Test, one, two, test, one, two. Test, one, two. Okay, now we're going to go to uh, front house right. Test one two test test one two two. Okay, looks good. Talk back looks just fine. Okay. Okay, we're gonna do a little quick uh, check here of the mics. Let's um. First, let's assign them all to a subgroup so we can control them. Because sometimes it, it, the choir will talk. Uh, let's copy this one here. And we want to paste it to all these here. All right. Okay, yeah, go with one. Oh. Give me a phantom power on that. <laughs> See, I'm back here. So yeah, right, fine. right. <laughs> one, two, one, two, one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, I think it's going to be a place to start. All we're doing is line check just to make sure stuff's right and we're sending just, uh, we're going to rough in some monitor sends. Okay, I think we're going to, I think we're going to start there. Okay, yep, next one. Take a look here. All right, so she's on two now. Right. Start off at the same point. Two, subgroup number one. Test one, two. Okay. Front of house. Five, six, seven. Okay. Whoop. Ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, the monitors. One, two, three, four, All right. five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. Yep, go on. Now, this room is extremely uh, reverberant, so we don't normally put gates on, on vocal mics, but we're just going to put enough on it so that if there's, it keeps out the ambient noise. All right, let's go on to three. Place to start. Um, she's in subgroup one. Six, okay. seven. All right, let's check the monitors. Test one. Okay. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, that looks good. Nine, okay. See, I can tell you just, to, it just, the gate is keeping it, um, We're gonna to have to adjust that later. Um, it's, yeah, it's just it's very sensitive right now. I think that's a that's gonna be a place to start. So normally we don't do gates, but um, the room is so noisy. We're gonna to try to keep the uh, a lot of the noise coming in on the board, keeping it to a minimum. Okay, so she's on four, and we'll see one. Test. One. All right. Let's try the monitors. Test. One. Okay. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. That should work. Okay. All right. That's just a quick little line check to make sure that um, everything was going to be okay. Okay. We just did um, a quick line check on some other instruments, uh, just violins. Uh, wasn't too much involved with it. We've got a bunch of DI boxes set up on the stage. And uh, anyway, uh, we got sort of uh, things cleaned up over here, uh, ready to go. So um, I think we're ready for the event. Okay, it's in the morning time and uh, it's probably about another two hours or so. And maybe an hour and a half before uh, it officially opens. And uh, we just came in, turned everything back on. And um, we've got the mics, uh, the mics attached. 
uh, to their respective stands. We've got the amplifiers turned on. And uh, here, when I was uh, just a, uh, previously, I was talking about the gates here with the mics. As you can tell there's some noise coming in from the mics right now, but also you can tell <clears throat> looking at it that the uh, gate is doing its job by keeping the noise out of the system. So, so we just need a little bit of gating on it, not much. So the idea, and you know, really this should just be about the only, um, uh, I want to say mics that we're going to have. Everything else here, uh, everything else should be electric, like electric violins. Um, got an accordion, uh, should be about it. Festival has uh, officially started, and as you can tell, uh, we really don't need to run too much power here. Uh, the two left, the lower row lights are the signal lights. The two on the left are for front of house, front of house left and right. Uh, the two on the right are some monitors, uh, two channels of monitors. Okay, and here we have uh, the receivers. Uh, we're actually only using one of the larger receivers there on the right. Uh, that small one here, that is a, a belt pack that belongs to one of the violinists. And up here on the stage area, we have DI boxes set up, and there's our communication. Other DI boxes for the other violinists. Now this uh, may look sort of like a mess, and it actually does look like a mess, but um, the stage is very active and, and uh, performers are coming on and off the stage, so we have to be readily, uh, we have to have everything readily available to be able to uh, switch out somebody quickly. And uh, uh, the producer's okay with stuff sitting on the stage uh, just because of all the things that are going on. We got the monitors position where they need to go. Uh, like a lot of uh, monitors, you usually need to put something uh, below them to tilt them up uh, so they can shoot back a little bit further over the performers. We have two monitors. Uh, this one and this monitor here are together. And then uh, the last two that you see over there are together. Sort of uh, behind the stage area, and uh, right here, this is the about the what the facility had for power. It's just these uh, regular Edison outlets here on the back of the wall, and you can see one down there. The um, lighting people have that. We're running the whole sound system here, the monitors and everything, off of this one uh, receptacle here, and uh, you can tell we've got it taped off as much as we can. Uh, Hopefully it'll draw attention to people so they won't hit it. And also, um, as remedial as it may seem, uh, it's very important to have everything taped down and well marked. Even though nobody's really back here, uh, it's still very important to have stuff taped down, marked. It's, you just need to do your due diligence in case something happens. Okay, we're uh, in the middle of performances at the moment, and uh, we've got the stage ready for... Uh, I think it's a six-piece choir that's going to be coming up. Uh, so the hall is a, a big um, parabolic dish. And the way the sound moves around in here is um, uh, sort of a big hassle. It's not as bad as um, some of these really heavily reverberant halls. Uh, one that we did not too long ago, as you may have seen a video on. This room can get pretty bad. So anyway, uh, we're getting stuff set up and uh, should be ready to go. It's actually pretty common to get uh, front of house feedback. Uh, we did ring out the system uh, the night before. Uh, however, when the room fills up like it does, uh, you know, the, an issue with the physics and the acoustics, 
of having more people in a room uh, sort of changes how that um, changes what the uh, frequency is that we had to ring out. Making instruments, um, feedback is a big, big concern because we're using um, condenser mics in a reverberant hull. So there's a lot of uh, frequency cutting that we've had to do and uh, lowering of gain adjustments. Now the violin is the only thing that's electric. Everything else, everything else is um, just uh, acoustic, the ambient. harmonicas in uh, this type of environment is uh, rather challenging. So we've had to cut back, um, I had to notch out actually about 500 hertz and 800 hertz. The uh, portion of the program that um, where we needed all the DIs and everything and all the lines uh, that is over for the events we've cleared everything off the stage looks a lot better uh, a lot of stuff over sitting over here can probably be put up but we're going to keep some of it out uh, just in case it's needed. Thank <laughs> you. 